OMG. Where do I even begin? Sigh. If you're not familiar with Mary Jane Byarm, she's a world traveler who, unfortunately, is known for allegedly scamming her followers. I uploaded a few videos about her last year. The links are in the video description below. In this video, I want to talk about Mary Jane traveling to countries that she should not be traveling to, like Afghanistan. Mary Jane does not listen to anyone, so this video is not for her. In one of her videos she even said she knew that Afghanistan was on America's do not travel list. This video is specifically for her female followers. Listen to me, ladies. First of all, if you want to know if whether or not there's a travel alert for a certain country, go to travel.state.gov and click on travel advisories at the top of the page. There's also a map available at travelmaps.state.gov. If you take a look at the map, you'll notice that there are several areas in red. Red means do not travel there. This is Afghanistan. Do not travel. Again, Mary Jane is not going to listen to anyone, so I hope this video reaches some of her followers. According to her latest upload, she is in Ukraine. Let's take another look at the map. Surprise! It's in red. What does red mean again? Do not travel. Mary Jane, you are not Brittany Griner. The US will not be doing a swap for you should you happen to end up in the wrong hands. Please stop traveling to dangerous countries, especially by yourself. Not only did Mary Jane travel to Afghanistan, but while she was there, in one of her videos, she said the people were very friendly and she was invited inside many people's homes. While she was in one home, she said an older gentleman was showing her some items. She also said the women in the home had to remain in one room. In another video, she talked about how she had to get permission from the Taliban to visit several places. She also said that she met with the top person in the Taliban for that particular area. They all wanted to meet her. They asked her questions that I believe she shouldn't have been addressing. She basically praised the Taliban and said they gave her tea and candy. I had to pause the video after that because I was over it. She talked about how peaceful Afghanistan was and that she'll probably visit again. I wanted to upload this video with my real voice so bad. I must have sighed 1000 times while putting this video together. This girl is just, where is her mother, sister, brothers, and the rest of her family? There's nothing wrong with traveling as a solo female, but it's no secret that as a woman, you have to take extra precautions. And while the people of Afghanistan may be the kindest people on earth, Afghanistan is not the type of country that a solo female traveler should be visiting. By the way, if you visit a country and there are no women in sight, that's a huge red flag. Mary Jane, they were nice to you because you're a foreigner and you're not a Muslim. If you were a citizen of their country, you wouldn't be allowed in public without being accompanied by a male. I think she really disrespected the women of Afghanistan with her videos. While she was out roaming around freely, the women there have to suffer under the Taliban. How can a person be so clueless? Again, this video is a warning for female travelers, especially Mary Jane's followers. Please use your common sense and protect yourselves. Do not try to be like Mary Jane. While I'm on the subject, I checked to see if there were any updates about her paying her alleged victims back, but I wasn't able to find anything. I was, however, able to find her website where she is selling a guide to Egypt for $27 and a travel academy for $566. She also said Egypt is her least favorite country, so I'm assuming she's offering some what not to do tips for people who want to travel to Egypt. Mary Jane, if you're watching this, for the love of YouTube, please hire someone to do a spelling and grammar check for anything that you release to the public, especially if you're charging them $566. And I hope you're using that money to pay your alleged victims back. Anyway, that's all I got. If you have an update on if whether or not she's paying her alleged victims back, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and don't let anyone steal your joy.